Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to have to make new morphism form in HTML and CSS. We need to make a tag. So how to create new new morphism login form. So. So, now we've done all of these. So the first thing we're going to do is make a div with a class of form. So inside of it, it's going to be an image. Its source is going to be so the image that I have, and it's all to be logo pics. We have that image. So so we can give the image the border radius of twenty five percent. So you also have to link the CSS to uh, so I'm going to CSS. So now it's like that. I'm gonna add H1. I'm going to say yo morphism walk in form. And we have a H1 after it. I'm going to add an input type of text. And uh, it's placeholder going to be email. So it's going to be an input type email. After that, we're going to do input type password. The placeholder of password. It's gonna add in required to all of these, so you know they'll be required. So I want to do a button with a type of submit. It's gonna have to say login. We have this simple login form. So I'll use a button that says login. Now we can start with them. First, I'm going to add a P which says, Oh, buddy, have an account. And it's going to be in an A, so it's going to be a link. A. F. It's going to be, it's going to be the hashtag. You can put in a link if you want. They're going to say or, and another A. So I hit it as tag. I was going to say sign up. Mm -hmm. You guys already have an account to sign up, so I'm gonna call up one of these links. So now I can start the, the styling the styling. What to do dot form? First thing I'm going to do is box shadow. I'm going to do 15px, 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 15px. So, and also this is going to be 15px. And the end set, well, the box shadow is going to be inside of it. And do CCC, which is the color of it. And it has a shadow. And it also now has a shadow. So. We can make its width maybe fit content. Its width is going to be the, the width of both content that's in it. So, I'm going to put all of these things in a center tag. Okay, 
will be in the center. You know, so just there. Now all of, it, all of these are in the center of it. I'm gonna I'm going to do input. I'm going to do border non padding. I'm going to do 15 px, 30 px. I'm going to have no padding in this number. Let's border. And then border radius 30 px. Also a box shadow. 6px, 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 and then ccc, and also inset, so shadow will be inside. The mm -hmm. We'll go back into our form and change this color a bit from ccc into I'm to say e2, 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 change that color a bit. I'm also going to go back to these inputs and make the box shadows to be more blue. And I'm going to give them a background of. And the background is going to be quite blue. Now the local gap will also add alpha to this by going in here and then changing this slider. So it's going to be more transparent. So we're going to do display block. They'll be on separate lines. And also we need to do margin bottom so DPX. And do like that. And if we put our mouse on it, you can see that there's this outline on it which we don't want. So we can do Outline none. I'm gonna do font size 18px. Now they're a little bit bigger. I'm also going to do a hashtag because we need everything in our document. So we'll be, we're just gonna add with a font family. So Yes, yeah, so now we have that font family. Now it's a little bit different. We'll just do our login button. Do we'll button. So I'm going to copy all the code from the input. It's gonna look like the input. We want it to be a bit different. I'm going to add in a font weight, bold, a color, white. And this background will be something like this. Those box shadow will be like white blue. You know, the button looks a bit different. So, I'm going to button from 15px to 15px, 70px. You know, the buttons are more longer. And then, I'm going to do button. And then, dash hover. The only thing that's going to change is its background. I'm going to write background. It's going to be light blue. We have our mouse over. That one's going to turn into that. Well, it doesn't really show the shadow anymore, so I can just edit this color a bit. No more changes. No, no. So. So. I'm also going to change the color of the dot form. So, 
to make this darker and also add a background color. So now it looks like that. That one just all the P. So the font size. I'm going to want the EM. Now it's bigger. I need just one put like three. So we're going to do font white bold. Then text. Decoration. Oh, there are a bunch of text decoration. I want to say text decoration over one. Maybe A. Make its color a bit dark. Blue. And font size. The 1.5 EM. And A. So, a hover, hover, the color wouldn't be more lighter, the font size will be increased to 1.7 EM. Now, uh, they're pretty big, so uh, I'm going to just reduce them to 1.2, and also a transition. So point twenty five seconds point twenty five s means zero point twenty five s. So now I'm gonna mouse on them. I do like that. And also give them a text decoration of another line. But that doesn't really work because they're inside of a P. But I don't know what I mean. So, I have these two buttons. So, I have them. So, and we still have to today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So, bye.